What's up, DVD fiends? It's B Money, week 115, and uh, today I'm going to talk about a movie that's been quite a, it's a Mondo film that's been getting quite a, it's a Mondo film that's been getting a lot of attention, and that's Buried in the Sand, The Deception of America. Now, fair warning, I'm going to get pretty political in this video because I got some bones to pick with it, and if you don't agree with my views, that's fine. But if I start to annoy you, I guess just flick the video off. But these are some things you should probably hear before you watch this. Now, starting off, there's been a trend I've noticed. More and more Mondo films have been showing up on Netflix for the instant stream. For those that don't know, Mondo is the Italian word for world. Mondo is the Italian word for world. And Mondo films are basically like Faces of Death and Mondo Cane death film. Is what some people call them. And Buried in the Sand is about the Iraq War. Now, this movie is available for the Instant Q on Netflix. And something about that rubs me the wrong way about all these Mondo films being so readily available to the public. Something that extreme shouldn't just be able to be that easy to attain. I don't know, maybe it's me being an elitist or whatever, but I don't think so. I think that if you're looking for something that extreme, you should have to dig for it. See what exactly you're getting into. It's like my friend Corey. I showed him a Serbian film because I knew he could handle it. But lately, for yucks, he tells people to go watch it. I'm just like, dude, don't do that. They are not ready. And so on. But the bone I have to pick with Buried in the Sand is it's a Mondo film about the Iraq War. And I don't know how you feel about that or whatever, but they take all of the culture out of the death scenes. It shows various, uh, it shows what Abu Ghraib prison was like before the U.S. took it over, you know, the beatings and stuff, and it shows people getting their hands cut off for stealing and stoning and such and suicide bombs, but it's an extremely ethnocentric film, and it's just, it, it becomes this witch hunt against Islam. It is, it just paints them as the worst people in the world without even giving it any explaining at all, and we're talking about Al-Qaeda, terrorism, it's bad, it's bad stuff, but the entire state of Islam does not need to be brought down just because of this, because not all people believe that way, that's like saying all Christians want to beat up gay people and hang black people, that's, it's essentially like that, and it paints the U.S. killing civilians as heroes. Of course, they won't tell you they're civilians, but you can tell on some of them. It's just very brutal, and if you're a gore hound like me, you're going to watch it no matter what. But whenever it gets to the spots where it's the commentator talking, I swear, Fox News must have hired this guy because he is so twisted. Like, you know, he kind of does that whole Mondo thing, like the face of the death guy, taking everything, you know, too lightly. But he's just so callous in talking about these deaths like they're not even human. And especially the spots where you see, like, U.S. military taking people out. He paints it like, you know, it's this fabulous thing, and it's not. Those are people's women and children. Just because they believe different than us, you know, it makes them less human. It makes it all right. It makes it okay to cheer when stuff like that happens. Well, the first time I watched this, I watched it with my friend and his dad, and his dad's got very different views than me, but this movie, it's essentially a snuff film in the sense that instead of monetary gain for death on film, you're getting propaganda out of it, because it shows you these brutal images, and it sucker punches you with a patriotic fist to the gut, and I honestly believe that's what the intention of the movie was, was to just get Americans pissed off, because when you're pissed off, you don't think straight, and you agree to shit that doesn't make any sense. So, basically that's it, and, alright, Jeff, if you're watching this, don't get mad at me, but you fell right for it, man. Because the whole time he was just getting angry, he's like, oh, those fucking barbarians, and all that shit. But it's taking all the culture out of it, you know, those aren't practices that are condoned by modern people of Iraq and Iran. It's just a mind fucking a half, and if you watch this and you don't know anything about it, it will get you. You will get, you'll be a pissed off American ready to watch some NASCAR, drink some beer, and blow up some countries, but you have to not look at it in this ethnocentric way. 
you have to keep an open mind, otherwise, you're gonna fall exactly what they want you to fall for. Hold on. I will text you back later, Aaliyah. Basically, what I'm saying is, you're gonna watch it, because it's violent, and it's brutal. That's why I watched it. But please, don't fall for this stupid, stupid shit. And it's easy to fall for it. I found a few parts getting me a little emotional, a little revved up. But you have to put everything in context, and that's exactly what this film doesn't do. It just takes it out of context and makes you this angry, vengeful person for no reason. It demonizes an entire religion and country in one fell swoop. So just watch it, but keep an open mind. Uh, there are some pretty brutal scenes in there actually talking about the movie. The political rant's over. Uh, you see people getting their hands cut off for stealing. You see people buried up to their waist and getting stoned to death, not, you know. You see people getting beaten and whipped in Abu Ghraib prison. You see the aftermath of suicide bombers. Chunks of meat just hanging from shrapnel of an exploded bus. An eight-year-old girl's leg severed with a little Barbie backpack beside it. It's rough stuff, and it will... It'll get to you if you aren't careful. Anyway, this is my review. See you next week. Look at the conditions you live in. All they talk about is terrorism on television. They tell you to listen, but they don't really tell you their mission. They funded Al Qaeda, and now they blame the Muslim religion. Even though Bin Laden was a CIA tactician, they gave him billions of dollars, and they funded his purpose. Fahrenheit, 